There is none that showed this law. Jesus Christ gave his life for us. So that there is no condemnation on us. Today, it's the day of the Passover. It's the day of your victory. La victoire sur le péché. The victory La victoire the sur la mort. The victory upon the death. Je voudrais I will lie. Que tu sentes au fond de toi. That you feel in me. Cette chose qui a été faite pour toi. That thing that has been done Et for you. Et oublie dans ce moment tous tes soucis. And at this moment, forget all your worries. And say thank you, Jesus. Can someone open up his mouth and say thank you, Jesus? Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you have done. Say I'm not worthy. I'm not. I'm just a sinner. I've been in the midst of this world. And there is only abominations in this world. But you accepted. Tu m'as pris. And you took. Tu m'as lavé. And you cleansed me with your blood. Et tu m'as donné la vie éternelle. And you gave me eternal life. Et quelqu'un a prié pour Jésus. Let someone give. A lot of people. Pour Jésus Christ. Pour Jésus Christ. Pour Jésus Christ. Pour Jésus Christ. Alléluia. Le roi des rois. Le king of kings. Le Seigneur des Seigneurs. The Lord of Lords. Je prie. I pray. Que le Seigneur Jésus. That the Lord Jesus give the revelation of His person to the whole world, so that the world knows that under this sun there is no other name that has been given the name of Jesus apart from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for the whole world. That just like Paul was on the way of Damascus and did not know the true God, Jesus himself revealed himself. And from that moment, the life of Paul changed, and he became an instrument in the hands of God. And the Bible says that the sins are forgiven. The days that we're living. If you don't 
pas Dieu au sérieux, et si tu n'as pas Dieu, tu vas mourir et tu vas te retrouver dans le feu. Tu vas mourir et tu vas te retrouver dans le feu. C'est très sérieux ce que je te dis. It's very serious what je prie que Dieu I pray that God te fasse comprendre ces choses-là. Will let you understand those things. Alléluia. Amen. La Bible dit qu'elle est violente. La Bible dit que Jean Baptiste veut s'apparaître du royaume de Dieu. So, Qu'est-ce que c'est que le violent? What, what does it mean to be violent? Le violent, ce n'est pas celui qui vient en Bretagne. The violent is not the one that comes to church late. Le violence n'est pas celui qui ne prie pas à la maison. The violent is not the one that does not pray. Le violence n'est pas celui qui ne lit pas la parole de Dieu. The violent is not the one that does not read the Bible. Le violence n'est pas celui qui n'a pas de de foi en lui. And the violent is not the one that does not. Le violent c'est l'homme de sacrifice. The violent is the man. C'est l'homme de sacrifice. As the woman of sacrifice. Le violent c'est celui qui intercède pour toute sa famille. The violent is the one that intercedes for his brothers. So that his brothers and sisters receive Jesus. Tu ne peux pas aimer le monde. You cannot love the world. Et aimer Dieu en même temps. And love God in the same time. Il aime Dieu. The one who loves God. Il aime l'amour du monde. Does not have to be. Celui qui aime le monde. The one who loves the world. L'amour du monde. Doesn't have in him the love of the world. Non, celui qui aime le monde. The one who loves the world does not know the love of God. So my brother, my sister, I know that today is a day of victory. And we're going to come to it in a moment. But before we start, le père de cette maison, j'ai observé, et je voudrais juste te dire, il reste du travail. Il nous reste du travail. Je ne suis pas ici pour caresser. I'm not here just to. J'ai des comptes à rendre à Dieu. I have account to give God. Quand on parle de prière, when we talk about prayer, très peu se manifeste. And very few manifest themselves. Quand on parle d'enseignement biblique, and when we talk about teaching, très peu se manifeste. And very few manifest. Mais vous aimez les fêtes. But you, you love our fêtes. Les fêtes ne vous amèneraient pas au ciel. And those feasts will not lead you to heaven. Je vous en prie. I beseech you. Un peu de foi. A little bit of effort. When it comes to the things of God, it's very important. And the world is spoiled. It's spoiled. Je l'ai vu changer. J'ai 50 ans, je l'ai vu changer. And I'm 50 and I see this world Le ciel est en train de régner. And the devil is raining. Nous sommes des enfants de Dieu. We are children of God. Nous sommes ceux qui doivent se lever. And we are the poor who are supposed to get up. Nous sommes ceux qui doivent se sanctifier. We need to sanctify ourselves. Nous sommes ceux qui doivent manifester l'amour. We need to manifest love. Le temps est venu de se de se réveiller du soleil. The time has come so that we can get up from our sleep. Jésus a fait sa part. And Jesus did his part. C'est à nous de faire notre part. It it belongs to us to do our own. Dans le feu au nom de Jésus. Que le Saint-Esprit vous aide. Dans tous les domaines de votre vie. Dans les choses spirituelles au nom de Jésus. Au nom de Jésus. Le diable ne vous dominera point. Amen. Bon. Je crois que c'est la partie difficile. Alléluia. Le Seigneur m'a mis. The Lord put to my heart a message. A message. Qui s'intitule la Pâque? That is entitled Not Passes. Our festival. Not the victory. Our victory. Je pense qu'il y a un problème là-bas. I think there is an issue with me. Amen. Amen. Je suis obligé de revenir un peu. Si ce que nous avons fait hier. I'm obliged to come back to what we did yesterday. Parce que je m'attendais à plus de monde, mais il n'y a pas eu assez de monde. Because I was expecting a lot of people, but few were here yesterday. Aujourd'hui, today, je veux que tu sois d'ici. I want you to go out from this place. À cent pour cent sûr. Hundred percent sure. De toi. Of you. De ce que c'est que la Pâque. Of what means the Passover. Parce que la Pâque. 
the Passover. Fait partie des choses um, que j'ai constaté. Is part of things that I observed que les chrétiens that Christians are a little bit vague in that Their knowledge about the Passover is uh, often limited. La Pâque, the Passover pas is not a matter of the Old Testament. Je cru aussi I used to believe it for so long before Jesus Christ enlightened me. La Pâque est une fête. The Passover is a festival that has been recommended by God. At the moment of Moses in Egypt. Hello? Is anybody here? Le jour the day the de Dieu when the people of God that has been in slavery for 430 years came out de Egypt. from Egypt. Dieu God a donné des instructions. gave some instructions. Ceci. You need to understand Le this. De Dieu the people of God était en Egypt. was in Egypt Pharaon. Uh, with Pharaoh. Et ils en and they were in slavery. And they cried out to God. Parce que quand tu es de Dieu, because when you are in Egypt, when there is something that is not Dieu. you need to cry out to God. And the Bible says, and they cried out to God. He started putting uh, pressure on the king of Egypt and, and he was sending signs sign, and God puts again pressure. The second sign, the Pharaoh, Pharaoh, he and won't let the people of God go. And we came to the next sign. And he was saying, at that time, à ce -là, at that time, Dieu a dit à Moïse, God told Moses, Je vais lui envoyer un dixième coup de pression. I am going to say Je lui envoie the tenth pressure. Ce signe-là, and that sign, il ne pourra pas endurcir son cœur. He can no longer have in his heart. He will let you go. Tell somebody, il let aller. go. Il vous laissera aller. He will let you go. Et Dieu dit à Moïse, and God told Moses, je vais envoyer un esprit de mort I am going to send a spirit of sur le pays d'Égypte. On the land of Egypt. Cet esprit, and that spirit, il va tuer he's going to kill tous les premiers-nés, all the firstborn, les garçons, the males, du pays d'Égypte. From the land of Egypt. Et il a dit, and he said, mais quand t'as fou des enfants, but to what are what the soldiers that are in the land of Egypt, nothing will come near you. Et Dieu a dit à Moïse, and God told Moses, voici ce que tu vas faire. This is what you're going to do. Pendant que je suis en train d'avoir l'esprit de mort, and while I'm sending the spirit of death, que chaque famille, let each family de mon peuple, of my people, prenne un Take the lamb. That they will take the blood. They will take the and blood. Put the sun on the of their and apply to the door friends of the house. And after, that, that, after, that, that, after doing that, take the lamb. Take the lamb. So what you're going to do? What you going to do? And roast it. What you going to do? Roast it. Maintenant. And now. Mettez vos chaussures aux pieds. Take our uh, shoes and your belt. Soyez prêts à partir de ce pays. Be ready to go to the country. Because I'm going to release them. Et voilà, on sera sous la pression. And Pharaoh is going to be under pressure. And now uh, this people who put pressure on him will let him go. Et ils ont rempli le lion. And the rose of the lion. Each family did so. And God told them, tell them, let them eat that bread with uh, a bread without yeast, with a uh, bitter hair, put on the shoes, and let them eat it in haste. 
And while they were executing what you are doing, God released the spirit of death. And the spirit of death and was upon Egypt. And I stopped hearing uh, cries. And death, death, even in the house of Pharaoh. So the Spirit of God will release and a prize everywhere. But when the Spirit of God came to the house where he can see the blood, the blood of the lamb, instead of going in and, tuer, and kill the spirit of God passes over the house who go over the house there is someone who passes over the house the Pope says pass over and Easter means to pass over the Pope says pass over que le malheur passe au vert. Let the wound pass over. Que la maladie passe au vert. The sickness que passe over. Que la pauvreté passe au vert. Que le passe au vert. Que toutes les frais de l'ennemi contre ta vie. Any errors of the enemy are allowed to kill you. Allez, je peux maturer. Tu peux te prêter la maladie à tes enfants. Au nom de Jésus. Par le sang de l'agneau de Dieu. Que si cette flèche là vient. Que la maison. Et que le passe au vert. Que le passe au vert. Que le passe au vert. Pass over, pass over, pass over, pass over, pass over. And that's how that Pharaoh, in this situation, that Pharaoh, he had told him to go. He said, "I will let you go." And he said, "I will let you go." Yes, the enemy will let you go. The enemy will let you go. I will stay on this day. The day of Passover. 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 For ten years, for twenty years, and you don't have the ability. And you have the ability. I want to pray. Because you don't believe in God. 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 Because you don't The people of God. They took the uh, staff and they came out. And God said to Moses, "No, no. This is a great day. It's a day that I break the chains of the Lord. And that day, you're going to mark it for me." Et à partir d'aujourd'hui, chaque année, every year, qui va venir, come, et pour toujours, and forever, vous allez marquer ce jour-là par une commémoration qu'on appelle la fête de Pâques. Ça, c'est comme ça la naissance de la Pâques. Et c'est ainsi que la Pâques a commencé. Et ceci se passait en 1400 ans. Was happening one thousand four hundred years even before Jesus Christ came down on earth. L'histoire de Pâques and the story of Passover. Jésus l'a pas emmené. Jésus est mort. Jésus est venu trouver la Pâque. And he came to see. La Pâque existait depuis mille quatre cents ans. And it existed one thousand four hundred years. Le peuple de Dieu. The people of God. Chaque année. Every year. Fêtait la fête de Pâques. Was celebrate the festival of Passover. Le jour que tu les as délivrés, to celebrate the day God has delivered them from slavery. Jésus Christ est né, and Jesus Christ was born. Une thousand years later, one thousand four hundred years later, he proved the the tradition of Passover. He came and met the tradition of Passover. He also celebrated the Passover, and he celebrated too. He took his lion, and he slaughtered his lamb, and he roasted it, and he looked for bread. 
Et il prend des herbes à l'air. Et il a vécu 33 ans et demi. Et il a vécu 33 ans et demi. Et chaque année, And every year, he celebrates uh, pa uh, Passover. Hallelujah. Amen. Et soudainement, And suddenly, Jésus dit à ses apôtres, Jesus told his apostles, Nous avons fêté beaucoup de Pâques ensemble. We celebrated a Mais lot of Passover together. But there is a Passover. Là qui vient. And the one that is coming. I did, I so long desired to celebrate that Passover. And Jesus told his apostles, and let's prepare the table. And we're going to celebrate the Passover. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Alors, so, Jésus Christ va faire quelque chose. Jésus is going to do something. Il va introduire. He's going to introduce. Lors de cette célébration de Pâques. During the celebration of the Passover. Des éléments nouveaux. New elements. Matthieu 26. Matthieu 26. Matthieu 26. Matthieu 26. Verse 26. Alléluia. Amen. And they came to celebrate the Passover. We are in the midst of Passover. And he got his uh, apostles together. And while they were eating, Jesus took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body. Verse 27. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, saying, Drink from it all. This is my blood of the new covenant. Say, new covenant. Qui est versé pour beaucoup Which is pour le pardon des péchés. For many for the forgiveness of sins. Alléluia. Nous sommes en train de faire des pas. We are celebrating the Sabbath. And Jesus with his apostles. Et il a introduit trois éléments. And he introduced three elements. Des choses qui n'existaient pas avant. Things that did not used to exist. La Bible dit le pain. And the Bible said the bread. La Bible dit le vin. The Bible said the wine. Et Jésus n'a pas d'alliance. And uh, Jesus was talking to them about covenant. And Jesus was telling them that Passover always exists. But me, Jesus, I came to reinvent the Passover. Tell someone to reinvent the pa Passover. And Jesus told them, Do you see this bread? Take it. It is the symbol of my body. My body who was broken for you. And you say this wine. Take it. And drink it. And this is the symbol of my blood. That is going to be shed for you. And now, uh, hours later. I don't know if you know it. It's not a question of a few hours later. What Jesus did, the bread that he gave, the wine that he gave, where he was telling his apostles, this is my body, and this is my son. They could not understand it. But a few hours later, Jesus was on the cross, and he was crucified. And by then, he gave a, a meaning to what he said before. The bread is my body and the wine is my blood. It's for you. Take it. And now he said, he said, and what we just did, 
Não vou te falar nem nada. 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 Não vou te falar nem If Jesus has died La on the dead, the land that was slaughtered 1,400 years earlier was the figure of Jesus. He was not on the earth. When Jesus came now, himself, he was taking the, uh, the place of the land. And he himself, He slaughtered himself, and his blood was shed. And the blood of Jesus. Does anybody have the blood of Jesus? If you have the blood of Jesus, any premature death, any premature poverty, any curse that has been on your generation, your generation, it's only you that believe. 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 And this is the new covenant. This new covenant is superior to, to everything that they did in the first Passover. Do you know why? The first Passover, they sacrificed an animal. And uh, this Passover, Jesus reinvented. En fait, il est Dieu. Actually, he's God. Il est fils de Dieu. He's the il son of God. Dieu, il, est, il est le Dieu dans sa dimension de fils. He is God in il his dimension of son. Il est qu'on appelle un homme. In a uh, superior to what we call man. Et And he came se fait sacrifier. to sacrifice him. Tu pars d'un animal et tu viens à Dieu. And you you go from an animal you come to God. It is superior sacrifice. Why is it a super, uh, superior sacrifice? The first Passover you remember, it was a deliverance given to um, a divine people of God. And this a reinvented Passover. Jesus said that the blood was given to the forgiveness of sins. And God is stretching out His hands to all humanity. Now it's everybody. Why is it superior? Because the first Passover it's a, a, a earthly deliverance, temporary. And as a precise day. And a Passover is is a deliverance that transcended the time, your life on earth, and that is going beyond. It's a deliverance after the dead. Is anybody following me? It's superior in all domains. La The Passover reinvented by Jesus. It's superior to the first one. The, the issue of sin, the issue of death, the fatality of death, that a man is born on earth, 
And he knows that one from the bad, he's going to go to the hell. The first person will go not solve that issue. Le sacrifice de Jésus à la croix. The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. C'est pour la rémission des péchés. It's for the forgiveness of sins. And the victory upon the earth. In such a way that. If you are a child of God. If you give your life to Jesus. The Bible says. That even if you die. Then you will live. That somebody, if you die, even if you die, you're not dead. You're still alive. Because of the word of Jesus. Because of the word of Jesus. I told you, God is not a child of God. He's not a child of God. He swore the Lord on earth and began to do this. There is no other God in the history of humanity that will promise to serve the Lord only Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is the Passover. And this is the victory that God has given us. Now. I want to quickly throw your attention on something. Because the lack of knowledge in this domain will let the enemy and the enemy is uh, misleading the children of God with false doctrines. Amen. The new covenant uh, made a lot of things to change. Okay, let's want to talk about the issues. I don't want to leave with the Matthew. No. We I don't want to leave the Matthew 19 verse 3. Let's go to Matthew 19. Look at the discussion concerning the divorce. And look at our discussion concerning the divorce between Jesus and the Pharisees. Between Jesus and the Pharisees. No, between Jesus and the Pharisees. The Pharisees abandoned. They abandoned Jesus. And the Pharisees, some Pharisees came to him to test him. They asked him. Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason? We can go. Haven't you read that all at the beginning? The Creator made them together, and He said, "For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother, and will be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh." So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, and that man are separate. And look at the question that the Pharisees asked. They said, "Why then?" Moses had been prescribed. Moses commanded that a man give his wife. He said, "If you get a divorce, then send her away." Jesus replied, "It is because of the length of your heart that Moses." Moses Vous a permis de divorcer. Permitted you to divorce your wife. Au commencement, from the beginning. Répète à moi. Au commencement, c'est from the beginning. Ce n'était pas le cas. It was not so. Écoute ceci, mon frère. Listen to this, my brother. Et quand il s'agit de divorce, when it comes to divorce, quand il s'agit de 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 polygamie, when it comes to polygamy, vous allez entendre beaucoup de choses. You're going to hear a lot of things today. But I need you to understand this. When Jesus introduced the new covenant, there are things that used to be in an old covenant that Jesus wanted to change. The new covenant, Jesus said, 
from the beginning, il n'avait pas cette histoire de divorce. There was not that Mais that issue of divorce, but Jesus permitted it to you. Ce que Jésus est en train de dire là, and what Jesus was saying, sous la nouvelle alliance, under the new covenant, les, les choses qui ne sont pas la volonté parfaite de Dieu, things that were not the perfect will of God, God, la volonté parfaite de Dieu, the perfect will of God, c'est un homme et femme. It's a man and a woman. Et il dit que personne ne les sépare. And he said il n'y a pas de divorce. Them, no mais il dit, Moïse est venu. And he et said, nous a dit qu'on peut le faire. Moses came and je he said, dit, to Lord. And Jesus je sais que Moïse a dit ça. I know the mais sous la nouvelle alliance, but under the new covenant, la volonté de Dieu, la volonté initiale, la volonté de Dieu, the la initial initial de Dieu God, on doit repartir à cela. And we need to go back to it. Is anybody following me? Les gens vous disent and people tell you Abraham that Abraham was a polygamist and Jacob was one of them. Oui. Yes. Mais ce n'est pas la volonté initiale de Dieu. But this was not the, the real God. God created a Créer man and a woman. Créer Eve. And he created Adam and Eve. Et quand Jésus a introduit la nouvelle alliance, and when uh, Jesus introduced the new covenant, Et nous fait comprendre. he made us understand that, that we Et should return to initial things. A man and a woman. Tell somebody, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. A polygamy. People in general. It's not the time of Jesus. That it came from there. We have uh, the perfect will of God. And a permissive will of God. And the new covenant. Suppose. Suppose that, that we return to the initial will of God. Is anybody following me? You're talking. Oh, vive le bon vin. Leave the good wine. Vive le bon vin, n'est-ce pas? Leave the good wine. Si tu regardes la colle, if you look at alcohol, avec la loupe de la nouvelle alliance, with the, et tu comprends ce que c'est que la nouvelle alliance, and if you understand what it means, tu ne peux pas accepter cela. You cannot accept it. 1 Samuel 10 verset 6. First Samuel 10 verse 6. Si je monte en avis, 1 Samuel 10 verset 6. First Samuel 10 verse 6. Alors le contest. Then a contest. Fait, um, Jésus, non, Dieu a dit à un prophète Samuel. God told uh, the prophet Samuel. The wind, the wind, to anoint. The wind, to anoint. Et Saül. Saül. Comme roi. Like a king sur son peuple, of his people. Et tout ce que Samuel, Samuel après la mort de Samuel, after Samuel anointed Samuel, Samuel dit, look at what Samuel said à Samuel. to Samuel. L'esprit de l'Éternel viendra sur toi. The spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Tu prophétiseras avec eux. And you will prophesize with them. Et tu deviendras un autre homme. And you will be changed into a different à person. From the moment que Saul that Saul became king dans in the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, saisi. Saisi, of him, saisi, and when he got hold of him, he became another person. Tu sais Do you know why? Les gens People talk, oh, le and the Holy Spirit oh, told me. I have the Holy Spirit. Be careful. Tu ne peux avoir le you can never have the Holy Spirit si tu pas donné ta vie à if you have never given your life to Jesus. In the Old Testament, an ordinary man that did not have the Holy Spirit. God will give the Holy Spirit to three categories of people. Prophet, prophet, kings, and uh, those who were called Jesus. And because Saul yeah, became, oui, roi, became king, de, de a the spirit of the Lord got hold of him and was changed to another man. Mais 
Now today, in the new covenant, you and I, we are not our prophets. Even if we are not even not king, the spirit of God was given to us. The spirit of God lives in us. But listen to this. The Bible says, do not get drunk of alcohol. It's a debauch. But get drunk of the Holy Spirit. The first enemy of the Holy Spirit is the drunkenness, the alcohol. But you're going to tell me in the Old Testament that people used to fish me. And those people do not have the Holy Spirit. In the new covenant now, the Holy Spirit that is in you opposes to alcohol. Is anybody understanding? The new covenant is changing our position, changing things. Things that people cease to do. God said, Let's go to the beginning and uh, abandon what you do right now. When God, Moses told me, I'm telling you, it's not my prayer of will. If you take an alcohol anyhow, the Holy Spirit that I've given you will be frustrated in you because it is direct enemy. My brother, my sister. And this is how everywhere. And people say there's no issue. You can do and yeah, there are some people that say uh, leave polygamy. And let's judge everything. Under the lamp of the new covenant. If you don't want to be taken by uh, by the pastors of the church from today. And there is one thing that does not change. One thing that does not change. The new pastor, the new covenant. Remember that they were in a situation of danger and the spirit of death was released and they were in a situation where God was telling them put on your shoes and put on your feet and be ready and even the food you need to eat the Passover is done in a situation of danger A pastor that is born in the he went to the hospital and told him, You have the cancer and you're about to die. And he told me, And things that I did not know, he told me, And he has been healed. No. Every morning, every morning, when I get up, I will get my communion ready and I will take my communion and I declare that I am healed and death that was coming to me did not come to me Passover. passed over me Passover. Passover. get up I need a call you I need a call you La Pâque. The Passover. Qui t'a dit Who told you que la communion that a communion is une histoire it's a, a story de quatre nuls, of four de pastors, of pastors. Qui t'a dit ça Who told you Non, 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 ce n'est pas ça. It's not like that. La soeur de ma demandée hier. The sister of the other pastor. Can we take the communion at home? Yes. You can take the communion at home. When you find yourself in a danger, the meaning of the Passover did not change. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There is power.
Il y a des chaînes de limitation. Toute la famille. Mes frères et sœurs. Personne n'a réussi à aller plus loin. Il y a une situation de pauvreté des fois. Il y a des familles. La gloire est devenue dans cette famille. Mais par la sainte toute limitation.
fait prier encore un peu. C'est très important. C'est un moment qu'il faut capitaliser. Nous allons continuer par le de le Seigneur. Aujourd'hui, c'est la résurrection de Christ. Il est mort pour nous. Et il a porté nos iniquités. Alléluia. La Bible déclare dans les aïe 53, le verset 7. Il dit par ce maître, si nous sommes guéris. Alléluia. Mon frère, ma soeur, tu vas encore prier. Je ne sais pas quelle maladie il y a dans ta vie. Je ne sais pas ce que la vérité est sortie. Mais je voudrais aujourd'hui tu prie avec ça. Et tu passes à cette maladie qui est dans ton corps. Que tu l'as mis là. Tu au nom puissant de chez lui. Toi, je ne pas de maladie. Attends son nom. Je ne sais pas ce que tu dis. Je suis 
qui est bon, son Seigneur. Je viens à toi, mon Père. Ô tous mes péchés, Seigneur. Et par ton sang, lave-moi. Seigneur, par ton sang, lave-moi. Seigneur, je prie maintenant pour ce peuple, Seigneur. Tout péché que ton peuple a commis, Seigneur. Je prie, Éternel Dieu, de les pardonner les iniquités. Seigneur, pardonne les iniquités. Seigneur, pardonne les iniquités. Pour que, gloire de nous puissions faire, Seigneur, nous approcher de ta table pour la gloire de ton nom. Merci, Éternel Dieu. Car tu nous as pardonné. Nous la même adoration. Nous avons prié au nom puissant de Jésus. Amen. Amen. Je veux inviter le frère Augustin et le frère Père à me dire s'il vous plaît. Please, brother Augustin and brother Matthew. Shout. 